Only one place to start today, and that's the imminent arrival of U.S. President Donald Trump. He will be holding crunch talks with President Moon Jae-in. The main topic on the agenda will be trying to figure out ways to tackle the North Korean nuclear crisis. To tell us more about his visit, we're going to connect with our Guan Jango at Seoul's Foreign Ministry. So, Jango, we understand President Trump has a busy schedule in Seoul today. Can you walk us through the main events? Sure, Mark. So President Trump will be arriving in South Korea within the next half of an hour or so for his very first visit to the country since he took office 11 months ago. Now he'll be flying in from Tokyo, Japan and he'll be arriving at the U.S. military air base in Osan, just about 50 kilometers outside of the capital's hole. He'll then be promptly whisked away to another U.S. military base nearby in Pyeongtaek called Camp Humphreys where he will meet with U.S. and South Korean soldiers. After a short briefing, he'll then travel back up to Seoul, where he'll meet with President Moon Jae-in at around 2.30 p.m. local time. A short welcoming ceremony will be held before the two head back for their third bilateral summit. North Korea, of course, will be the main talking point, but the two are also expected to talk about trade issues, such as the U.S. trade deficit with South Korea, as well as the bilateral FTA. A joint press conference will be held afterwards, and then a state dinner will take place in the evening. And Jango, President Trump's state visit to South Korea has been very hotly anticipated since it was announced uh, several weeks ago now. What exactly are we expecting the two to get out of today's meetings? Well, first, they'll be looking to reaffirm the South Korea-US alliance and cooperation on tackling the North Korea nuclear crisis. And they're also likely to reiterate their stance on uh, upping pressure, strong pressure and sanctions. But while Moon Jae-in continues to emphasize the need for dialogue as well, President Trump is said to have agreed with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe that now is not the time for dialogue. Moon Jae-in does not seem to share as close relationship as, uh, as Abe with Trump. But earlier this morning on Twitter, Trump described Moon as a fine gentleman and said, we will figure it all out. So he seems to be setting a positive tone before his visit. On Wednesday, he will also be giving a speech to Korean lawmakers at the National Assembly. He will then stop at by at the Seoul and National Memorial to honor those killed during the Korean War. And then at around lunchtime, he'll be hopping back on Air Force One, where he'll be traveling to Beijing on the next stop of his Asian tour. Back to you, Mark.